Did you know that your story can benefit extended family members even if you don't have direct descendants? One of the best ways to ensure access to genealogies you publish is to donate books to libraries and archives. Many libraries, archives, genealogical societies, and history museums may welcome your published family history. Dis a descendant of your common ancestors will find your work and praise your name at some future date. Therefore, how do you go about donating your finished self-published book? Howdy, welcome to Write Your Family History. I'm Devin Noel Lee, a published family history author who wants you to learn how to quickly write non-boring family histories to share your legacy with your loved ones. If you're producing your genealogy books, you already have a digital copy of them. Create a PDF with all the font, images, graphics, and so on embedded in the file. Then upload copies of your book to multiple digital archives. Be aware that you typically grant public access to your work when you upload these books. You'll still retain the copyright, but you won't be compensated for sharing your projects on the following websites. Since we are family historians, the first place I'd recommend uploading your finished book is to the Family Search Digital Library. This informative post contains a video explaining the process and access to the forms for uploading your items. A second place to consider is the Internet Archive. While it's not genealogically focused, it's a second place to preserve your old diaries and your family stories. That takes care of donating digital copies of your book. Hopefully, you'll take the time to print copies of your book, regardless of the format you choose and who is your intended audience. One of my favorite places to produce softbound or hardbound copies is through an on-demand printing service such as lulu.com. Once you have ordered and received copies of your book, Donate the finished projects to facilities that collect family histories and family narratives. Once again, start with a family search library, which is located in Salt Lake City, Utah. But here are some others to consider. The Allen County Public Library's Genealogy Center in Fort Wayne, Indiana. The New England Historic Genealogical Society, also known as American Ancestors, located in Boston, Massachusetts. If your ancestor was a patriot, consider the Daughters of the American Revolution. If your ancestors are from the United States, the Midwest Genealogical Center is also helpful. There are many other such locations to consider. If you thought of one, put it in the comment section below. Now, each organization has restrictions on which books they'll accept, but contact the conservators and find out whether your publication is a good fit. Before we continue, if I have given you great donation ideas, please click the like button and subscribe to this channel. Then leave a comment or a question about your struggles or successes with writing family histories. Additionally, look for repositories that serve a special connection your ancestor may have had. This could be a state, this could be military connections, or church histories. If your ancestor worked for a university, consult the special collections divisions and ask if they would like a family history about one of their former employees. My great-grandfather was a professor of physics at Ohio State University, and their special collections department asked me for anything they could preserve about him because they were really disappointed they had nothing to give me when I called asking about what they had available for him. Don't limit yourself to close connections for depositing your published family histories. Some locations welcome donations even if the link to the location where the repository resides is non-existent. A copy of my memoir, From Metal to Rhinestones, A Quest for the Crown, is part of an Arkansas genealogical library collection, although I've never lived there. The library wanted to preserve my pageant perspective and ask for a copy. This aligns with how many collectors of historical documents and artifacts approach preservation. They don't always want to put something in the obvious location. For instance, I've learned from a collector of 
books of Mormons, that it's not wise for historical books to only be in a place where you would expect to find them. If all the historical copies of the early books of Mormons appear in Utah repositories and those are destroyed by fire, all copies would disappear. So this collector deposits his collection at Harvard, Princeton, and other archives around America. The same thing can happen to you. Donate your family histories to the logical place and any place willing to accept family histories. Go write and donate your published family histories. You can do it. Just do it sooner rather than later. Remember to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Then go watch this video that will help you on writing your next family history story.